Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your September, what you need to know right now, tarot reading. This is Miri and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. Sagittarius, we're looking at whatever you need to know. So this is many, many messages. Only take the ones that resonate for you and leave the ones behind that don't. Love, money, work, career, finance, anything that needs to come out, you need to know, I'm going to tell you. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Male or Female, General Collective Reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you can flip it, switch it, reverse it with another energy at any time you feel the need to. Cross watchers as well could be a reading for you. Welcome in Sagittarius. I hope you're all doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. Now, you can leave me a comment whether or not you, not you like this reading. If you don't like it, please be respectful with your comments. Um... I was going to add these every month, but I don't think I will because if you go back on the channel for the signs I've already put out, uh, views are very, very low, and I've gotten a lot of negative feedback, so I may not be adding these every month, but you can still let me know what you think. Um, go, always go to the community tab. I have lots of posts over there, information and polls to vote on as well. All right, Sagittarius. So let's see what we have for you. We have the Empress, and we have three, which is growth, expansion, Time to hop into action. Use your natural creativity to bring forth prosperity and success in your life. Empress is the birthing of new energy, knowing our value and worth. It's a, a divine feminine energy, and males can be feminine, so take it how it resonates. The Four of Wands. It's time to kick back, relax, and celebrate all that you have. All that you have. Joy ari arises from success in your career, the contemplation of a project, or a very happy home life. So four is about stability, foundation. Four of ones, it could be marriage, commitment, um, buying a new home, moving, uh, relocating, renovating, anything to do with the home. It could be a celebration as well. Very stable, grounded energy on the home front. Four of pentacles, so another four. Be cautious about living a life of extremes or seeing things in black and white terms. Consider, for example, whether you are spending too much versus hoarding your wealth or giving too much emotionally versus building walls that keep you keep people out. So four of pentacles can be the energy of holding on, not wanting to let go, or maybe resistance, or maybe um, you know, holding on too tightly and we need to let go. So Let's see. Oh, we have the Ace of Cups. Well, what's this, Sagittarius? We have Aces are about new beginnings. So this is, a, if I could speak, this is the beginning of a new emotional experience for you. It may be the first blush of romantic love, the rebirth of a current relationship, or the awakening of spiritual gifts and insights. So that could be a spiritual awakening. That could be just feeling at peace, harmony, joy, love, and light with your life. It could be new love definitely here some of you uh, maybe you know embarking on a new relationship where it's getting more serious as well especially maybe if someone's been holding back a little bit that may be changing uh, some of you if you've been struggling maybe to make your say your payments your you know your mortgage things like that definitely things could be turning around for you as well and if some of you want been wanting to like move um, relocate uh, whatever the case may be, you may be, some of you may be working from home as well because the empress can be somebody who is a business owner, entrepreneur, in some way, shape, or form, some, some sort of creative outlet. And with that four of wands about the home, that could be working from home as well. Maybe some of you have been kind of resisting or holding back, uh, going down that road as well. All right, Sagittarius. So let's see what else we have for you. Okay, so let's get into the tarot and see. All right, Sag, everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist is down there, a list of readings I do here. My other channel, you can subscribe there if you like to, I'm not currently uploading. These readings I may consider in the future moving over there since that was my more general channel, like for general readings, and this is basically my love-based channel. So if I do these in the future, I may move these over there, but anyway, if you lose me here, you'll find me there. So if you want to sub over there just so that, you know, it's a backup channel. You know, if something happens, I'll have that channel. Anyway, Sagittarius. So let's see what's going on for you. And if somebody has been holding back from you, I definitely see 
them now seeing you as their empress and wanting to come in here to have this like brand new beginning maybe committing here with the four of wands as well we kind of have like two soulmates there all right let's see what is going on for sagittarius let's see seven of wands knight of wands that is you sag that's my sag card knight of wands but it's in reverse so kind of having like a resistance all wall up and not like like <sighs> seven of wands can be fighting for what we want but it also could be having a wall up a block a barrier Maybe something preventing you from taking action, or these are your own blocks uh, preventing you from taking action on something. Let's see, Seven of Pentacles, so not wanting, not investing or not wanting to invest in something anymore, or the wait is over. Five of Pentacles, so somebody could have been struggling financially here, feeling a little bit lack, but then we have success and victory here. So I definitely feel, I mean, we have Sag here, that's your energy. Um, Let's see, we have the four pentacles, and then we have the seven, and then the five, and then we got the seven in reverse. I definitely feel like some of you um, could have been struggling here financially, and then all of a sudden, so say you've started that uh, home-based business or entrepreneurship or a little side hustle. You're like, oh my God, I'm not making the money. I'm struggling. I don't think I should keep investing in this. So maybe you kind of lay low for a while, and all of a sudden, Things start to look up here with the Six of Wands. It can be success, victory as well. Being, you know, being recognized, noticed. Five of Cups. So feeling like maybe, you know, this was a loss. That could be changing. Five of Cups reverse. Also, if you've had some sadness, loss, regret around love, that could be changing as well. Or someone around you. Ten of Cups. This could be you getting out of a very unhappy um, situation. It could be commitment or marriage. King of Wands definitely could be you, Sag, you know, on top of your game here, where things were looking like, maybe this isn't going to work, things take a turn for the better, and it could be very unexpected here, all of a sudden things definitely, definitely change, or someone's coming in here hot, heavy, and quick here for commitment or some sort of stable uh, relationship, a lot of attraction, fire, passion, or this is you being in your energy of going for it and making things happen. Somebody may come in and try to cause a little chaos or trouble, either in your home life or something like that. Um, but I think you're going to see things clearly here with the King of Swords. And you're quickly going to cut, cut this energy out. Some of you could be legal matters or getting some sort of justification or clarity um, as well, or communication. Somebody could be rushing in here with direct communication as well. Somebody could be a same-sex relationship. doesn't have to be, though. Interesting. All right. All right, Sagittarius, so let's see what else do we need to know. Do I have that Ace of Cups, though? I mean, that can indicate new love, but, or just um, like a self-renewal as well, or a new spiritual awakening. All right, let's see. What else does Sagittarius need to know? Nine of Wands. Yeah, there's a struggling I was feeling that page of swords but some sort of communication let's see seven of swords it could be running avoidance fair strategy all or it could be lying cheating stealing but let's see five of wands and the four of swords so there could be something going on around you um that you were struggling with maybe somebody around you got caught lying cheating stealing or someone around you uh, you felt or there could have been like an argument between you and someone or there could have been a struggle of some kind and maybe you step back and you're thinking about the whole thing and maybe some sort of truth comes to light that somebody was either being sneaky, lying, cheating, stealing or something here. So some sort of truth may come to light and maybe there's been a lot of struggling around this to see the truth or clarity. Page of Swords can be getting some sort of information, clarity or truth or seeing something online. Or making some sort of uh, online connections, networking, socializing that may benefit you as well. That I feel like that's separate. Um, this could be, you know, you getting recognized maybe on social media and getting more clients, uh, more business that way as well. Especially if you've been struggling with that. Some of you may be uh, reevaluating that. Like, well, maybe I should just, you know, go back to my original plan of action. But I think things are going to turn around for you as well. So we have Aquarius here. 
Hmm, let's see. I'm not really getting a lot about love here. We don't really have any cups other than the Ace of Cups. Somehow, in the end of all this, you're going to have peace, clarity, harmony, joy, love, and light, even if it's just by yourself or um, with somebody new. Let's see. Magician. So there's new things happening here with the Magician. New beginnings. Page of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. We have growth expansion. Some of you may... I hate to say this may get denied for like a loan, a grant, or something like that, or an investment may fall through. But somehow things are going to work out anyway because we have the three pentacles, which means it is growth expansion. So things are going to grow for you um, even if something that you've been hoping to get, whether it's like a sponsor, a contract, um, investment, or something, may fall through. But either way, New beginnings are here and things are going to grow for you. It's just putting in that hard work. And you may actually come along to something better here because this uh, lover's card would overtrump this page of pentacles in reverse. So if this is something you were hoping for that falls through, you're going to be celebrating here something much bigger with the lovers here. This could be a business partnership. This could of some sort. It could be um, meeting somebody new that you're courting, dating, getting to know. You know, this could be celebrating, courting, dating, getting to know. And it's some sort of, could be contracts, soul contracts, a lover, a business partner, and making the right choice is something bigger is even uh, in the works here. I like that. So we got uh, Gemini Virgo here. So I wouldn't worry about something that falls through. I think it's just going to be minor. But to you, it could be feeling like it's something big. Because the reason that's going to fall through is something bigger is um, in the line for you, coming down the line for you. All right. Let's see. So whether, you know, it was a relationship and you're like, oh, yeah, it's not going to work out, but down the road you're going to meet somebody else who is going to far exceed your expectations in love. So whatever this means, whatever falls through for you, something bigger, better, grander is coming down the line. So let's see. Let's see, for Sagittarius, what else do we need to know for September? Justice. Yeah, feeling like something's unfair, unjust, something falls through. Yeah, I keep getting that. Justice reverse, definitely. Three of swords. But it's about not wallowing in that. It's like you're going to get over that quickly. You know, you're going to be in a little heartache, pain, disappointment. But in reverse, it's saying you're going to get over it uh, completely here. Yeah, five of cups reverse. You know, you're not going to wallow in that unhappiness at the loss of this for too long. Because something else is coming in here, Knight of Pentacles, that's going to cross the finish line into something bigger. Definitely, because this knight does cross the finish line. Now, this could be something else that was a long time coming. So maybe in the meantime, you try to get something else, like another investor or... Uh, whatever the case may be and that falls through but something else that you actually wanted that was even bigger could finally come through if that makes sense let's see two of pentacles so you're going to make the right choice I mean the two of pentacles can feel like kind of like all over the place yeah exciting new opportunity here with the ace of wands it's something bigger exciting it's going to make you very happy the most positive outcome here with the sun and there's the Empress in reverse. We got uh, upright, I mean, we got two Empress here. Somebody could be same sex, doesn't have to be. Double in your power. That is just crazy. So the Empress with the Sun, this is in growth expansion again. So this is a better, newer opportunity. It's more exciting. It's going to bring even more happiness, growth, expansion, prosperity, abundance, happiness, and joy. And the sun is about our um, solar plexus, which is our soul, mission, our purpose, who we truly are, our authenticity, our uniqueness. And being fully in your power, especially with the empress, is really being truly who we're meant to be. So whatever this other thing is coming in, whether it's a new, a new partner, business partner, creative endeavor, or a bigger investor or partner or something, definitely what this is that doesn't work out, this is just minor compared to... This is major here. This other thing coming in is going to be major compared to this. This is going to be like minute. You're going to be like, oh my God, I was so heartache. 
uh, I was so heartbroken over this, disappointed, yet then this comes through for me, this is unbelievable. That's how you're going to feel. So let's see, we have Libra, Taurus, Leo, Libra, Taurus, yeah, four of wands, twice, four of wands, twice, the Empress, twice, let's see, and the King of Wands, that could be you, Sag. Six of Swords, so something, you know, moving away from something that didn't work here, and which are moving into something better, peace, how many joy, love, light, Stop because something else that's meant to be is coming in. It's going to far exceed your expectations. Balance, wish fulfillment, healing, things that are meant to be divinely guided energy, faith, hope, optimism, and the high priestess. So trusting your intuition on this. And you may not see this coming. You may not see this coming at all with the high priestess here. And it's also kind of about maybe keeping some things to yourself as well. But great things in the works here with the star and the high priestess. Definitely here. This is Leo energy for me, but definitely could be you, Sagittarius. Wow. Wow. Okay. So let's see. Um, some of you may be moving. Maybe um, the four ones here twice. You may be buying a second home. Or you could be renovating. You could be uh, moving or moving to a bigger home. But it's definitely a lot of stability here on the home front. That also can speak of marriage, commitment, as well celebrations and you got that twice and the empress twice really being in your power some could be same sex i think i said that before but it doesn't have to be wow so something may not work here here for you you know where you're going to be heartbroken about it but in the long run something bigger better is coming along so person place thing uh some sort of business contract proposal partnership whatever a new job is going to be even better than what you felt was unfair, unjust. It's going to far exceed your expectations. All right. Okay. Sag, so let's see what this deck has to offer. Sagittarius. Some of you, I just got a, something here. If you have a parent, maybe a mother or something, mother-like figure, uh, they may be um, overcoming some sort of illness where they're, they're doing um, a lot of healing they have great healing coming in here so someone may needed to hear that it could be a, about a mother i mean empress does indicate mother i mean it doesn't have to be or mother type or female feminine type energy they're getting their vitality back here with the ace of wands and a lot of healing and overcoming maybe um a very challenging situation as well if that's not about you it could be uh, someone around you all right Let's see. Sagittarius. If this did resonate, you enjoyed this, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. Any support given is truly appreciated, and I thank you. And I do appreciate your support, your likes, shares, comments, subscribes. Your support does not go unnoticed, and I really do appreciate it. And again, everything you need to know is below. All right, Sagittarius. So let's see what this deck has to offer. Metal vulnerability. So being open to everything coming in around you, because we have the field there, which is full of, you know, growth, prosperity. Also, there could be someone coming around to you being more open and vulnerable as well. So say a relationship doesn't work, you have a better one coming in where there's going to be more vulnerability, growth, expansion. Dragonfly emergence. So emergent, um, dragonflies are lucky, transformative. So, yeah, things are going to emerge like a whole new energy here. Like breaking through the energy and things just working out far better than you would see it here. Yeah, rainbow blessings, definitely. Luck, expansion, growth. And I got that before and it's coming through again. So, good luck coming your way. And Ottoman, <laughs> Ottoman I can never say that word. Equinox, so fall energy release. So, you know, just release things that aren't going to work out for you because you have better blessings coming your way and soon it's going to emerge and it's going to be far exceeding your expectations. I keep getting that. We are coming into the fall season, autumn season, so. And love, compassion. Some of you definitely are going to have a better love coming in, um, a new love perhaps that's going to far exceed any uh, maybe love connection you've had in the past. 
definitely here. So you're definitely going to be releasing something that you had your hopes on and not staying in that energy because you have better blessings coming in. That is for sure. All right, Sag, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. I am wishing you the best. And whatever this is, this Knight of Pentacles does cross the finish line. So whatever didn't work out for a reason, you've got something coming in that's going to go the distance here too. So whether it's a new relationship, a new job, um, a new contract or business partnership or whatever the case may be. So Sag, everything you need is below. I'm wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.